Many of the victims of Monday's volcanic eruption in New Zealand were passengers from a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Royal Caribbean tells CBS News it is now suspending tours of active volcanoes. Earlier, the company said it was devastated by the tragedy. This incident is raising questions for all cruise line operators about their liability and the excursion providers that do business with them. CBS This Morning consumer investigative correspondent Anna Warner is with us. Anna, this seems to be an issue that a lot of people should be taking a look at. Yeah, and I don't think most tourists really pay a lot of attention to this, but it is good to know what risks you may be taking. Assigning blame, winning damages when injuries occur, that's pretty complicated because not only is there usually more than one company involved, but more than one country as well oftentimes. There are measures, however, you can take to protect yourself. 47 people, nine of them Americans, were near New Zealand's White Island volcano when it erupted, most of them part of a day trip excursion offered to passengers. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg. The people who bought these excursions bought them through the cruise company, then the cruise company outsourced it to an outside vendor. No. But the question remains, should the vendor have canceled this excursion? In the weeks leading up to the eruption, GeoNet, which tracks hazard information in New Zealand, warned new volcanic activity on White Island meant an imminent eruption was possible, but said the week before the eruption that geological activity did not pose a direct hazard to visitors. It's likely everyone on the excursion signed a liability waiver. That's true for the estimated 7,000 excursions an expert tells us are offered annually by cruise lines. Everything from zip lines to scuba diving to bungee jumping. Signing a waiver doesn't necessarily mean the vendor's protected. You still may have rights. The eruption is far from the only deadly excursion from a cruise ship. Back in May, six passengers aboard the Royal Princess were killed while on an aerial sightseeing excursion over Alaska's Misty Fjords National Monument when the two planes they were in collided in midair. And in December of 2017, 12 people were killed and 18 injured in a bus crash during a land excursion from two Royal Caribbean cruises in Mexico. Despite any potential dangers for many passengers, shore excursions are an essential part of a cruise vacation. Travelers today want a more immersive experience. They want to be able to get there up close and personal. And they're more than willing to sign those waivers because it's one of their bucket list. As for the victims of the eruption on White Island who want to hold someone responsible, due to a 45-year-old law in New Zealand, the excursion company may be legally protected from being sued. It's basically a no-fault insurance plan where nobody gets to sue and nobody gets blamed. They can just get a payout from the government or from an insurance fund. However, the payout is limited. It's about 200000 New Zealand dollars at the top end. So that's just over $132,000 in U.S. dollars. Um, we've reached out to Princess Cruises and Royal Caribbean about any litigation connected to their previous excursion accidents, but they have not responded so, at this time. So what do folks do who take these excursions? How do they protect themselves? So one of the things to keep, uh, keep in mind if you're going on a foreign trip is you might want to get something called medical evacuation and repatriation insurance that protects you if you become sick or injured while you're overseas. Some of these places you want to have medical evacuation and it's worth the money to pay that so that somebody will come get you and take you to a hospital that can really treat you if there's something seriously wrong with you. Because depending on what country you're in, yeah. now New Zealand would have great hospitals, but some countries don't really have the hospital systems comparative to the U.S. that you may expect to have. So you're going to want that insurance. Think about that. And two stories we've done now that will require that. Remember the yeah. guy in Mexico at the hospital? I will say I still love cruise ships. <laughs> if I can convince my wife to get on the ocean, we will be going on one soon. <laughs> All right, Hannah, thank you very much.